So you want to get in and edit some text. In this case, it's the Amazon buy link on the uh, in the lap of the Buddha page. So you want to go to the admin interface. You want to go down to pages. My personal favorite view is the column view so that you can click around and see what pages live inside other pages. We're going to hit this edit link here and I already have that loaded up so we don't have to wait. And here we see our pretty uh, visual composure here. And any of these elements in visual composure, visual composure, if you want to edit them, you just mouse over them and hit the little uh, pencil button. In the case of empty space, you could set how much empty space there is. Um, so we're going to scroll down here. And the tricky thing is the text needs to be white. And so I explicitly made it white. So you can't quite see it here. But I know it's the text underneath the grid. Um, so I'm just going to go down to this text block and hit the little pencil. And you can mess around with this stuff and not break anything uh, because you have to um, hit update in order for the changes to take effect. So, so the window is a little squished, so I'm going to open it up so we can see more. Um, so this is just a standard uh, text editor. So I'm going to go in here. And so you can either just highlight the text and it'll show up because again, I set it explicitly to white and the editor is retarded. And so it doesn't highlight it or anything. But anyway, you can go there and you can just click in and change it or, um, you know, so I could say, click here to buy Amazon. And I'm just hitting, uh, Command A to highlight all the text so you can see it. You can also go into the scary behind the scenes. And um, so an H1 is a heading. The span is just telling it, hey, everything in here should be white. Um, I don't know why it's got white twice, but we could, we could fix that. We could just take this out. Boink. Take out the span. Boink. Um, anyway, and, and then here's the text inside the link. And you can just edit that and hit Save Changes. I'm going to hit Close so that I don't save the changes. And then you come up here and hit Update. And there you have it.